Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I will go over the one palette look. This has been the fastest application I've ever done with my eyeshadows and I used a full range of I think five or six different eyeshadows and it's because they very strategically placed every single shade in order and that was so much easier for me. All right, let's get started. The first step, I always apply a primer. I'm going to list down in the description box below all the products that I've used. Uh, this one is from Laura Mercier and I have to apply a little bit on my cheeks and my forehead because the air is dry, it's winter, and I feel like um, my skin needs that extra little moisture so that when I do apply foundation, it's not all absorbed in my skin quickly. I like to use a primer for my eyes so that the eyeshadow stays nicely evened out without any creases and any fallout during the day. I use concealer, uh, longwear concealer from Laura Mercier. I apply it before foundation just to cover my dark circles and a little bit of a spot coverage there. I actually apply it before the foundation and after as well, just in case there's any spots that need to, to be taken care of. The next step is foundation. I like to use different colors, different shades, depending on uh, the the range of my skin shade. In the summer it's a lot darker and then I gradually lighten up in, in during winter. So right now I'm using a lighter version, probably the lightest one I have. And there I go back with the uh, concealer and I spot correct any other blemishes that were not fully covered. With a nice fluffy brush, this is one of my favorite steps, I use the Laura Mercier um, powder. It's um, compact powder and very very little is coming off on a brush so it just really feels like a nice little touch all the way around my face but even though it looks like it's a lot I put very little on um, little coverage and it just makes the makeup um, stay put and not rub off during the day. In the next step, I apply the with the setting powder, again from Laura Mercier. I seem to have liked her, uh, her product. So I apply the loose powder with setting brightening loose powder under my eyes to set the, uh, the concealer. So now with a round brush, I apply a bronzer around my cheeks in round circular motion, as well as on my forehead, all the way around on my jawline and a little bit on the side of the nose. Next up is the blush. I like to combine a blush and a little bit of bronzer. This is by um, Estee Lauder and it is very, very subtle. I like that it's not very pigmented so I get to just play around and the circles around my face and without having to worry that there's one gigantic spot on. So I like this very much. It blends in very nicely and then I added a little bit of highlighter on the cheekbones. I'm going to use the uh, Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I recently got it after I got after using the first one, which is um, Naked 1. They don't make those anymore, unfortunately. This is the closest shade that I was able to match my, my own skin and shadows. I wanted a neutral look that I can wear every day, all day, and not have to worry about standing out too much and distracting people when talking to me. The lightest shadow I apply um, in the middle of my eyelid as well as in the inner corner of my eyes. 
the second shade that i apply all over across my eyelid the lightest medium i apply on top of my crease so that when i open the eyes and my eyelids are covering or covered i get to still see that medium um, shade over there on top of my eyes Uh, with a, using a blending brush, I blend in the medium darker shade in the crease. I start in circular motions at the, uh, the corner of the eye and then work my way in through blending. Only I wouldn't go over halfway through the crease. You want to create a uh, shadow effect at this point. This color is darker than the previous medium, so you want to use blend it in nicely so it all it looks like a gradual increase in um, darkness. Using an angled fluffy brush, I use the same darker shade and create a diagonal line from the corner of my eye all the way towards the, the end of the eyebrow. With an angled eyeliner brush using the same dark medium shade, I line my bottom eyelash. And this creates a nice shadow effect, almost like your eyelashes would create that shadow because you have so many eyelashes. So it's a nice little effect without it being too pronounced and obvious. Using a slightly smaller brush, I line the outer corner of my eyes with this dark brown. I have this special brush which is not nice and big and fluffy and it blends very well so that would be the last step to make sure that all the shades are blended in nicely without seeing where one ends and the other one starts so this is the most important part to just blend 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 using an eyeliner thin angled brush i dip it in some water and damp it nicely I dip it in the darker shade, then tight line the upper lash. Tight line means just really adding lines little by little as close as possible to the eyelashes. Winging out was probably my biggest, biggest challenge so far. and. After, I don't even know, 15, 20 years of, of trying different techniques out there, the best one that I've noticed so far that works for me, and again, the challenge was not only to get the eye line, but to create symmetrical lines on both eyes, right, winged out. So um, keep your eyes open and with the angled brush, point the bottom of it at the end of the eye and then the top should be towards the ending of the eyebrow and then slightly tap it just enough so you have kind of like an underline and then you can close your eye and go over it several times with more eyeshadow until you have the eyeliner thickened but the first step is very important to kind of like when you it's the same thing as when you use a pencil first and then you go over it with a marker so very lightly first keep your eye open draw that wing and then go over it again with more eyeshadow last step i curl my eyelashes and using and I use a volume and curling mascara. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, pomade, the brow, and an angled eyebrow brush, I like to shape my eyebrows and it fills them in so beautifully. I, you probably heard the saying that the eyebrows frame your face. It is so true. 
I didn't notice how big of a difference it makes until I had the correct um, eyebrow filler. So this is very quick. It stays on all day. I like to also set them at the end with um, a setting clear gel and uh, they're good to go. Next is uh, using the Dr. Perdicon um, lip balm. This is SPF 15 and it's a very nice natural color. This is the actual color that uh, Wonder Woman is using in the movie. So I love it. And uh, that's it. This is the final look. Um, this is a look that I use every day in the office to go to work. I hope you enjoyed watching and at the very least have a little bit of inspiration for your own look. Stay tuned for the next styling tips and videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!